that leads us to talk about the atmosphere of praise. The atmosphere of praise. Psalm 22, but you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Think about that. God chooses the atmosphere of praise in which to establish his throne of authority. Our praise invites God into the situation. See, the way that God brings us before his throne room is to bring his throne right here in the midst of our praise. Think about that. When he, <laughs> when we praise the Lord, he's attracted to that atmosphere. He likes that atmosphere and he establishes his throne there. Well, what is a throne? This is about sovereignty. It's a seat of authority. So when we come together for, for a time of corporate praise and worship, the beautiful thing about the Holy Spirit is that we can all be singing the same song in the same moment, and each one of us can have a very personal, individual encounter with the Lord, where he speaks to our heart, he touches us, he heals things in our heart. In, 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 in the atmosphere of praise and worship, all kinds of things are happening in the room. You know, we sing, when, when you walk into the room, everything changes, and it does. Everything shifts when he shows up. But here's the thing I want us to lay hold of today, and it's a step beyond that. Because although it's really, really wonderful to experience his presence in a personal way in the midst of everyone else, there's another gear for us to go into. And that gear involves corporate purpose. Because when we're in his presence and there's his throne, maybe, just maybe, he wants, um, he wants to do something. He wants to bring a shift in our city. Or perhaps he wants us to get involved with something. He wants us to declare something into the atmosphere. We're going to prophesy together. Paul says in Ephesians, he says, Be filled with the Spirit, speaking or addressing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Psalms and hymns, very quickly we can equate that to the songs that we, there they are on the screen and we sing the words and, and uh, we exalt the Lord together. Spiritual songs, which is also a normal expression of the body of Christ. Spiritual songs means songs of the spirit, songs of an unrehearsed nature. This is spontaneous songs. This is the prophetic song. So there is a time and a place and a moment that we need to have an awareness of when we step into prophetic songs, prophetic singing, this is a song that hasn't been written. It's not gonna be on the screen, but that's okay because now the Lord is saying, this is what I wanna do right now. And the church, we all know the church is not the building. We got that. The church is not a service. Hopefully we got that. The church is not a social club. We better got that. But the church, the word church actually has a governmental meaning behind it. Ecclesia or ecclesia, I don't care which way you pronounce it, but it's a governing body. The church is like the governing arm of the kingdom. So when he shows up and we show up and we're in his presence, there are transactions that need to be made. There's, there are things to release into the earth. You following me? What we did last week when we were marching around, I believe that was a prophetic act. And we got our bodies involved and we got our, our soul involved and there was something that was beginning to shift in the atmosphere of the room and I believe in the atmosphere of the city. So there's something, there's something beyond just, oh Lord, please touch me. And that's good because we need a touch. We always need a fresh touch from the Holy Spirit. There's something else though. It's about, Lord, what do you wanna do? What do you wanna speak? We're in agreement now. We're in agreement with, with heaven. We're in agreement with the timing and the purposes of God for this moment. Does that make sense? It's governmental because we carry authority and the place of agreement is the place of power. Jesus said in Matthew 21, he said, assuredly I say to you, if you say to this mountain, be rooted up and cast into the sea, it will be done. But Bishop Joseph Garlington teaches it this way. He said, that word you there doesn't mean if you say or if you say, it means if y'all say. As a matter of fact, it means if all y'all say. If all y'all say to this mountain, be rooted up and cast into the sea, it will be done. Will you stand with me? So we're talking about a corporate anointing. 
We're talking about coming into agreement with the Holy Spirit and making some transactions. So we're gonna practice this in just a moment. We're gonna go back into a time of praise together corporately. We're gonna lift our voices. We're gonna make a big deal about God. We're gonna shout with intention. We're gonna shabak from a place of triumph. We're gonna experience the, the throne of God just in the atmosphere of our praises. We're gonna tune into the sound of heaven. We're gonna release that sound into the earth. Come on, you better get excited. We're gonna halal the Lord. Are you ready?